RC Command leads the way. Nick here with another Tech Tuesday. Today we're going to be uh, just kind of going over some wheels and tire combinations that we've been running. Um, we haven't done a Tech Tuesday in a while and uh, I do apologize for that. And we just wanted to kind of do something simple to try to get back into the swing of things. So we're going to put some new uh, rolling stock on the Bomber Bouncer. Uh, we're going to be swapping out these uh, Proline Super Swamper uh, SXs. These are not the XL version. Uh, we had them on some bottoms up wheels from 949 Designs. We're going to be swapping in these Axial Trepidors. Uh, nothing spectacular about these tires. Um, just trying to do a little something new, something different. Um, we're running out here on the desert a lot. A lot of rocks, sticky rocks, so uh, the type of tire you need uh, changes as the terrain changes. So we're just going to give these a shot here, man. Nothing nothing uh, spectacular about these tires. Again, just we had them. Uh, came on another build that we had, and we're going to try them out. So um, the uh, no, no issues. We're not going to reuse those wheels. The, the color scheme is a little off with the black and orange there. That was the original color scheme of the Bomber Bouncer. Um, but, uh, um, you know, again, just looking to, uh, looking to give you guys something new here. So we're, we're swapping out the, um, swapping out the hubs. Okay. Uh, we go with Vanquish hubs and it's a 325 in the front just cause we got to clear the, um, the knuckle, uh, you know, with the. The bolts on the back side of the of the uh, uh, for the bead locks. Uh, we're going to be running these two stage foams from Crawler Innovations. We don't run uh, two stage foams per se. Uh, this will be our first set. We were running the uh, single stage foams um, initially. That's that's what we're running uh, in that tire there, that rim and tire com combination, uh, and then our XLs are also a single stage foam, so this will be our our first uh, venture into a dual stage foam. Um, I gotta say, uh, because I've spoken with Eddie personally uh, when we were in Texas, and he gave me his guidance for what foams um, to go with, uh, I don't have a, a great feeling. About the two-stage foams, I don't think that they're going to give the rigidity that rock bouncers need. Me personally, with my driving style, uh, I do like to bump the front end up and and end or use a rock or a, a root or whatever to jump up over uh, the uh, an obstacle. So I'm not sure that these two-stage foams are going to do it for us, but um here's the traps all put together there uh, i do kind of like the um the black wheel uh with the chrome or silver uh silver rings so i think that'll that'll look good with our current uh wrap that we have and you can kind of see them compared they're about the same size the xl uh is a bigger tire but you can kind of see their uh see the difference in tread pattern again we're going to be on more rocks and uh, looking to get a little more traction um, but I'm not saying that, that we're going to be sticking with that tire anyway because you know we like to to try different things and and uh, tell you guys what we think of it but anyway there it is guys uh, here's get you some footage of it all on the buggy and everything Wheels are uh, from 949 Designs. Lee hooking us up uh, out there, man. Hey, I, I I don't know where I would be without Lee, man. Um, just salt of the earth and always helping me out. Just kind of giving you guys a quick look at the old bomber bouncer here. She's been 
going through a lot, a lot of transitional stuff. I mean, this thing is just great. I, I tell you, I tell people all the time, you know, if you're looking to get into competitive rock racing, whether it be U4 racing or, um, or rock bouncer racing, there, there is not a better platform to start with than the bomber. There just, there just isn't. Uh, speaking of bombers and stuff here, we've got some uh, packages coming in. We are, um, we've got some things in the works and we just want to showcase some of the bomb proof products that we're going to be using. Uh, obviously y'all have come to know me as uh, always looking for those rock bouncer specific parts. And, um, you know, it's so early on in the, uh, you know, the race series, it's so early on in the life of RC rock bouncing that, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to um, expect companies to come out with a rock bouncer specific part. But we can search out those companies that are making parts that are, uh, that are going to hold up to the beatdowns that we put our bouncers through. So we uh, went to Deluxe, got us some no slop bushings. Um, we just wanna make sure that when we are building the next RCC 80, that uh, we have no slop in our knuckles. Again, the tighter everything gets, the more control you have, and uh, it'll be these little things that are going to become the standard. Claudia's gonna kill me, I got this thing up on the counter in the kitchen. But that's life, right? <laughs> All right, y'all. Axial treps. Mount it up, we're gonna get some uh, running video and and uh, share with y'all. Hope you're all having a great day. RC Command leads the way. <laughs>